Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another video. I wanted to let you all know some information regarding your teenage children working here in the UAE. And I'm not sure if any of you have um, heard of this before. If you follow any of the Middle Eastern or the U uh, UAE news websites, like the National or uh, Khaliji Times and things like that, but they made announcements a few years ago, and we sure we shared them in the Sisters Hydra group regarding teenagers working. And to be honest with you, my daughter found the information first before we came. No, I think as soon as we came. Yeah, when we came here, my twin, one of my twin daughters. She was like, Umi, do you know that um, we can work here? We just need a permit. And I was like, oh, really? Okay. They, you know, teenagers, this is what they think about. When they come here to the UAE, they're like, okay, what's our place? What are we going to be doing? Of course, they enrolled in school first. Um, but they were like, what's my future looking like here? What can I get into? So my daughter actually brought that to my attention. And then I started to see the news posted more often for uh, teenagers working in the UAE. So basically you have to be, the child has to be 15 years old minimum. They are not allowed to work more than six hours a day. And the employer has to be a participant in the program. So say for example, your child wants to work at a cafe or Whatever, any any kind of shop, whatever thing. It could be at an art shop or anything that they're interested in. You would get the name, because we, we, we went to a center to inquire about the requirements. How do you, you know, basically register the child for a job? So you need the parents, a letter from the parent. Um, you know not objecting to the child working and then you need of course the child's immerse id and the parents documents as well um this one has to be presented to the center you have to you have to present the company's name of course their license number and their labor number so all of these uh, documents must be presented to Tashil. It's a center that registers and processes varying government documentation and gives permits. And then the, um, the child will be allowed to work after those things have been submitted and um, the application is filled. So. Just wanted to let you all know that just in case you have teenage children coming along with you or children who will be teenagers soon, that they are allowed to work at the age of at 15 and above, you know, part-time jobs. They just have to find a participating company. Um, so yeah, there is, there is hope. <laughs> for the teenagers. I have some, my son tried to look for some jobs, but Ziad is entrepreneurial, you know? Um, it didn't really work out. He had a job, he did have one. But like I said, he's he's very entrepreneurial. He doesn't, um, him being under someone doesn't really work because we're very analytical and we don't like disarray. I'm the same way. Uh, we don't like disarray. We need clear instructions. And if your setup and your business is not structured and your directions that you give me is not clear and and um, you don't have a system, then uh, it doesn't really work for how our brains are. You'll wind up taking over or trying to fix things. Like, okay, listen. Let me present this system to you. Let me present this to you. This is how it can run better. 
Um, so, because you see people around you who are confused, who are mixed up, um, and that kind of like scrambles, scrambles your brain. And I can't work under those kind of, um, under those kind of circumstances. So, it didn't work out for him. And Alhamdulillah, he had his doing business like his mom. Um, but yeah. Y'all gotta find some, some the, the kids can find a job that suits them. If they're simple, you know, cashiers, plenty of those positions that they can try to apply for. And inshallah, inshallah khair. All right, I will see you all in the next video. I've been busy, but I'll be uh, giving you guys some more information on the, uh, Important things here, things that you need to know, very important. Thanks for tuning in as usual, and I will see you all in the next video. And don't forget, Hijra, mandate, sacrifice. Ma'asalama.